The decorations make or break this whole thing. And we are with like the queen of decorations. Are we feeling? I feel so good. Do you? I do. Awesome. I was thinking 200 bucks, 300 bucks, you're like, ah, 50 bucks. Are you kidding me? Do I get down? Yes. It's just amazing. It looks like it's been there forever. We are going to build a pondless waterfall. The best way to learn anything is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. So we made it, I'm here, I'm in Idaho. Actually, I'm in Ontario, Oregon, which is like five minutes over the border. We're here at the famous Laura from Garden Answers House. Hey guys, how's it going Laura with Garden Answer? About to get ready to build her an epic pond. It's gonna be so, it's gonna be so awesome. And it's a lot different than our normal ponds. And so we're gonna get into the design of it a little bit later, but I'm excited. We've got a group of guys here, certified aquascape contractors behind us, eagerly waiting to see what the next step is and what we're gonna do, but this pond is gonna have a wetland filter, an intake bay, an awesome waterfall, and then of course Laura's touch with all the beautiful plants. I can't wait to take you guys on a stroll through her garden. It's more of like an epic journey through her garden because it's so big, but uh, this place is magical. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be hot, but let's get at it, here we go. Here's the shape. We've got a wetland coming in over here. Ben just walked right through the center of the pond, so he probably got wet. <laughs> coming over here, we got a waterfall back where everybody's sitting in the shade. The pond's gonna come over this way. We're gonna do an intake bay over here. Little seating area here. And then my favorite part, you guys, there are all these berms that we're gonna put in. So in the foreground, we're gonna get some like really nice rolling berms and really try to hide the pond, which is so different than what we normally do. But I want the pond to almost be kind of hidden back in here with like really distinct entrances that bring you back to a small little patio. And then with Laura's expertise in plantings, we can really hide this thing. You don't discover the pond until you've gotten kind of back in there and you discover this whole little like oasis slash mirage, you know, really tranquil little space back in their gorgeous garden. How many of your friends have ever said they've done this before? He's a natural. Mama, what do you think? Oh, he's gonna have to be talking about this for the next couple of months. <laughs> Good job, Benjamin! Benjamin, what'd you think, buddy? That was cool. All right, guys, just quick update. Here we are, just getting the final touches on that wetland done. Water is just gonna pour out. We have to cut in, you know, three inches below water level over here. We're just gonna kind of give a spring fed look from over here. Big retaining wall will kind of come into the wetland, holding back some of this berm back in there. Do some terrace stuff in here for Laura for different cool plants and stuff. I wanna do a super simple waterfall. So we'll get that big veil sheet type, type waterfall just so uh, it's more photogenic. Uh, we got the pond excavated. We've got this little area. We're gonna do our brick wall in here so the patio can come right up to it. Intake bay is set up. We've got two pumps. I got a nine feeding that. I got a five feeding that. You guys, it's hot, but it's tolerable. It's gonna be a great project. And Laura is extremely excited. Hey, hey Laura. guys. Laura, thank you so much for inviting us to come out here and do this. Oh, I'm just so thankful. I can't even believe you're here and I cannot believe it's this far already. Right? It looks, ama it looks amazing. It. And if you're this excited now, hopefully like that excitement just gets oh, more and more and more and you more. You asked me a couple of times, like, do I get nervous about these projects? Mm -hmm. um, I would ask you, do you get nervous about having us come out here? I don't know. No? <laughs> no, but I have to say the first time I was a little bit nervous and it's only because I think that this is intimidating to not only me, but I think to a lot of people, like seeing things in, you know, kind of torn up a yep. little bit. I'm used to doing things like, you have a vision. Like tackling projects yeah. myself. So when you guys put in the first one, I remember having those feelings like, I don't know how this is gonna go. It turned out so phenomenally well that this one, I just kind of like- So, so the first it. one was really just kind of like a test for us. First one of many. Yes. Yeah, this one's gonna be fun, guys. Hang on tight. It's gonna be great. It is.
Well, the patio is, I would say, 99% done. It's Monday morning. Brian is out in Oregon at Garden Answers. He is uh, staying busy out there. He's going to be gone for the next three days. So that means I have a big to-do list. Let me spin you guys around and give you guys a little glimpse of the patio and what the guys did. As you can tell, this was the new patio that's sitting on top of the basin. That basin comes all the way to right where my feet are at. So, I, so right now, I am sitting on 3,000 gallons of water underneath this patio. So this turned out absolutely incredible. They, the cuts are just nice and tight in here. This right here, we're going to take another uh, piece of slate and put that in here to match our steps going up and out of the patio. I know Brian and I were both talking about how we're going to have this four-year area, and this is looking absolutely spectacular. I love this giant, and I mean giant, planter box. We're going to fill this with dirt and plant some arbs to get some nice uh, height in here. So we have that to do if we get all the drainage work done today and tomorrow. The patio, the guys have a few more edges to cut over on this side. They, I think they ran out of a few soldier course running along this side of the house, so I know they're going to probably come back today and finish up this and then that way the patio is 100% done but they came in pulled up the old patio and then replaced the new patio making it all nice and level and it looks spectacular I love 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 how it looks the stairs are turning out very very nice we're pretty much done with those we still got to get in along that back side so we stopped with those steps over there because we need machine access to their side of the yard but this thing's coming together very nicely I'm really looking forward to when we start these pumps up for the first time because as we said before we're gonna have four nine PLs running through this thing so roughly 30,000 gallons of water rushing through all in this area ripping through here through this tight area underneath the bridge and then it's gonna push through our waterfall sitting right over there hopefully we can get all this done while Brian's gone and I think we will I know Chris Hansen will be out here for this week so that'll be nice to kind of catch up with him it's been a while since we've seen him on um, on construction and it'll be nice to kind of hang out with them and have a good time so stay tuned and cue the time-lapse Calm before the storm. Pretty soon we're gonna have all kinds of contractors out here, past artists of the year, helping Laura build, I guess the dream pond. They've been thinking about this for quite a while. I can't wait to get started. Um, we've got all these boulders, all these people, lots of ideas. Here we go, we're gonna get this thing going. Can't wait to share with you guys the progress. Holy cow, that went quick. Fabric, liner, aqua box, pump bulbs, bog, wetland filter. We're already setting boulders. Like, this is gonna go fast. everything coming together we got some of our big rocks in here we're still waiting for some really large rocks John's over here from modern design working on our formal wall inside the pond this is something we've been doing a lot lately bringing in this clean wall right up next to the viewing area the idea is that this wall will come straight up to here and the reason we're using the wall material is because I can keep it nice and flat and level up in here so we're gonna eventually bring a patio cantilever right out over the top of this wall you could do it with boulders, it would just take forever trying to get that perfectly level at the top. This makes it super easy. The other reason I like it is it gives us a lot of depth really quick without taking up a whole lot of space. How are we feeling? I feel so good. Do you? I do. Awesome. I have complete confidence. Like in the big rocks? I love the big rocks. 
grass. It's, oh my gosh. It's crazy, right? This. Isn't that gorgeous? It's so pretty. And you guys, when you place the rocks, I mean, you can see it. Like, it, it's, they're perfectly placed. Well, we got the bottom rock in. Now we just got to do the, uh, the other half. Okay. So we're moving right along. So we just got back from the tree yard, you know, where they do all the mulch and everything else. And they're like, you want what? I'm like, we want some big stumps and some cool root balls. They're like, oh, okay. So it's really funny. I'm, the guy's like, how, how much do you want to pay for this? And I'm like, well, how much do you want to charge? He goes, I was, I was thinking 200 bucks, 300 bucks. He goes, ah, 50 bucks. Are you kidding me? So we had all of these logs for 50 bucks. From, you know, they were going to turn them into mulch anyway. A lot. So we can fill this up. And then what's really cool is there's a little ranch on here, a little... You not only can put stuff on the top, like a side shoot. but there's a little side chute on the bottom now, yeah, of course. Yeah, exactly. Is this not a perfect seat for the kids sitting right there? Oh, yeah, it is. Fun. So they'll, they'll, they'll incorporate this. Now these are going to go into the jigsaw puzzle, is anybody's guess. Uh -huh. But now the artists have these six pieces to pick from. That's awesome. It softens the rocks a little bit. It does. It softens it yeah. up, and it just adds another element. I love it. There it is. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Well, that's beautiful. The color. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah, that's gorgeous. So imagine some colors popping out of here with that. Yeah. Or maybe a potato vine to grow. Uh-huh. Awesome. I love it. Good. That's the end of day two. Day two. Two days. Well, yeah. Yeah. Two, that's crazy. Two, two days. And we're at this point already. Like, that's crazy. I feel like we could put water in it right now. Yes. We have a water truck coming yes. tomorrow, though, around 1.30. We yep. fill this thing up. Um, I love the progress we made. How do you like it so far? I'm blown away. <laughs> like, I almost kind of was choking up a couple oh, times good. today. Just seeing everybody come together and working so well together and a team of professionals like we have here. It's a huge treat and pleasure to watch you guys. Oh, do thank thing. you so much. Well, I cheers. Cheers. Great end to this second day. Tomorrow, we're going to start decorating this and that's where you come in, right? I'm excited. <laughs> awesome. probably don't need to do this in here, but it's an extra layer of effort. So what's happening is the vivid liner. I'm just trying to block this gravel off so that so much water doesn't weep through. The foam is water resistant, it's not waterproof. So a lot of the water flow is gonna eat down through all the gravel in between these stones. It's gonna minimize the visual effect and the flow that you're getting across the top of the rocks. to the stages where we are starting to box in this wetland. A wetland is always really square and linear, but in this case, what we're doing is we're rounding the edges by putting different boulders in. The other thing we did down here is we put this log that Greg picked up all the way across the back. The cool part about this is because they have young kids, this is gonna have probably three, four inches of water in this wetland. The kids can sit on this log and put their feet in there. It's 
just about lunchtime and we have so much done. The Bio Falls is getting kind of rocked in. They're finishing up little plumbing stuff at the intake bay. I think it's a perfect time for lunch. More importantly, it's a perfect time to check back in at home because Chris has got stuff going on and so does Jack. Over to you guys. Yes, you see it right. It is Chris from Team Aquascape. I know it's been a while since you've seen me with Jack, but I am out here kind of subbing in for Brian on this amazing project that he and Jack and the rest of Team Aquascape construction crew has been working on um, for about the last month or so. I'm out here today while Brian is out working with Garden Answer. Hey guys, how's it going, Laura, with Garden Answer? So Jack and I over there, he's already working, are going to hopefully get all of the plumbing ran, get all of our trenching and drainage work uh, done before Brian gets back and maybe, just maybe, we'll end up working on some of the edges on the back side of this pond. So we're gonna get started by connecting these four three inch lines running back that way. We've got our pipe over there. We excavated this trench yesterday. We did a little bit of drainage work. You can see we've got a four inch drain tile and a perforated sock. Um, and then we're filling with gravel. This is going to catch all of the sheet water coming from surrounding properties. We're gonna go ahead and get this ran, get that up into there, grade all this out, and then finish up all of our drainage this way. We'll have to move some of this soil over into a planter over there so we've got a lot of really cool not really menial work but uh easy to follow work hopefully we don't have to do any double work today and we'll get this thing done and uh, brian will be happy with the progress when he gets back and then of course we have him who always is a machine so we're ready to have a good day like my favorite part and it's decorating everything of course i love the waterfalls and stuff but the decorations make or break this whole thing and we are with like the queen of decorations laura from garden dancers hey guys how's it going laura with garden dancer so i thought it'd be so important to kind of talk about the design right now the berm work is so important with the water feature you can see how we've got our bio falls right here we always want to bring that dirt flat out a couple feet and then slowly taper it the bigger and the bigger the berm is the more and more natural it's going to be. With this particular pond, I didn't want just to berm by the biofalls. We also wanted to put some berms, if you look over in here. So we're going to have these kind of like golf course rolling berms. So there'll be a big berm over there, then it comes back down, then it comes back up. Another berm over in here, really making this a hidden garden. So when we're all done and you look back at it from the road, you shouldn't even see this pond. There'll be this kind of secret entrance back into here, which is going to look so great. So guys, we're going to take you through the whole journey of plants and look at how quickly this thing transforms with the proper uses of plants. And pay attention to where Laura's putting that stuff because she knows what she's doing. like the contrast of the evergreens and the birches with the moss rock and the yeah. lichens. The berms are shaping out nicely. Mm -hmm. It's really starting to all come together. It is, and the army of people. Right, it kind of helps, right? Like, it's wonderful. The two of us couldn't do this by ourselves. <laughs> it's spoiling me big time. <laughs> I think we're about an hour and a half from turning it on and everything being done. Huh? Uh, yeah, let's start it. Awesome. Let's start it. <laughs>
Which one's your favorite one? Oh, that bag right there. The bag right there with the white one with the orange head? It reminds you of me? Look <laughs> <laughs> how big this one is, Samantha. Whoa! Laura, I just want to say thank you. Like, it was such a pleasure doing this. Um, I actually, I just want to hug you because you're so awesome to work with. Um, everybody I've talked to, every past of this year, the entire team came together. Um, the one thing they all said, everybody said this was so much fun. Uh, and we've worked all over the country, different parts of the world together, and they said this was the best one. And I think that's a lot to do with you. No, I swear to God. So expect us back here like next week. Perfect. We'll put on the calendar. No, we're going to keep the dream team together. We can't wait till you do another project. Uh, it was an absolute pleasure, and I love that you love this. I wouldn't change a single thing. I yeah. love it so much. Aaron, thank you too, bud. You make it happen. <laughs> you guys know what to do. Tell us your favorite part. Like, comment, subscribe. See you next week. Bye.